this extreme cold, the farmers were spending a lot of their energy on hope and prayers. WIFF News Force Mike McCormick is live and local at Spartanburg's Harvest Park for us tonight. Mike, how are the crops so far? Well, Michael, they are hanging in there, doing pretty well right now so far. You know, the Hub City Farmers Market plans to open here at Harvest Park on March 28th, the earliest opening ever. So they are hoping for the best right now. But of course, it all depends on the crop and the kind of protection they have. Here we've got red Russian kale. Look at this, short sleeves in this weather. I'm starting to sweat, actually. Jimmy Tate is the manager of the Hub City Farmers Market's urban farm. Try and be the first with tomatoes in the area. He says these seedlings are fine thanks to the greenhouse. It was about 60 degrees this morning when I got here. Uh, of course, the inside of the plastic was frozen, which I have never seen before. That controlled environment helps crops weather this weather. When you get 10 degrees or below, I think you're playing with fire, but there's nothing we can do but just hope for the best. The sprawling fields at Strawberry Hill, USA won't quite fit inside a greenhouse. Very fortunate to have a good, uh, good workforce and uh, there are about 85 or 90 gentlemen that's all the kind to get out and get her done when it needs to be done. James Cooley and his team got the plants covered under two and even three layers of protection that almost look like snow. Good Lord willing, it's going to be great South Carolina peaches, South Carolina strawberries, and all the other fruits and vegetables South Carolina has to offer. He expects the peaches to be fine. Appreciate all the customers and the people stand behind the farmers. And if anything, the strawberry crop could be a little later than usual. You do the best you can. Trying to chill out is hard work during a hard freeze. I've been praying for the local farmers. Interesting tidbit here. See the collard greens there? Well, the manager here at the urban farm tells us a good frost actually makes them sweeter. Mike McCormick, WYFF News 4, live tonight in Spartanburg.